are finally out. It's probably a day too soon <laughs> from the look of the ground when they galloped across it, but they are out. And uh, they've had a good hour out, so I'm about to come and get them in. Get your fingers crossed for me, they actually want to come in. Um, Sienna did gallop. She did nearly fall over. She did all the things she shouldn't do, but was going to do, so nothing new there. Um, Coop, bless him, has literally not moved from that position. He had one canter around and then he's like, yeah, I'm done now. I'm just going to eat a very sensible old boy. Uh, so, yeah. Day two of going out, both Corporal and Sienna enjoying a lovely roll very far apart. Um, I mean, oh goodness, I wish she wouldn't do that. She does get stuck on her back a bit. Um, I'm interested to see if she's going to explode or whether she'll be fine. Oh no, don't you? Oh goodness, Corporal. No, no, no. Do we have to? Still? Yeah, it would seem we do. Whoa. Steady, steady. Whoa, I really wish you wouldn't do that. Slow. I can see my grass coming up, madam. So I'm finally starting to bring Sienna back into ridden work. We live in quite a busy area and I'd really like her to be able to hack out on her own. Normally she always hacks beside a corporal. So I decided today just to walk her in hand first of all, get down to one of the quieter lanes, then get on board, hack her along that lane. And then I actually did walk her back in hand just to help improve her confidence because she is a little bit unsure when she's on her own. She just finds it all quite overwhelming. So we're taking sort of small baby steps to help improve her confidence. But she was a really good girl and she was very well behaved. And she She's actually a delight to walk in hand. So at work this week, we did one of my favorite jump exercises where you have three fences along the center line and you do a serpentine through them. Now we added the cross as an extra to make a slightly more difficult line. And I've definitely vlogged about this exercise before because it's brilliant if you've got a horse that's quite strong in the contact. You want to work on your turns from fence to fence, working on your horse's rhythm and balance. Now, had a little girl, Mr. Coco here, hunt horse, doesn't get schooled, doesn't jump that often, lacking a lot of suppleness. <laughs> so it's not particularly stylish, not a very elegant looking round, but do you know what? He had a wonderful time. And from a rider's point of view, it's a really good chance to try and work on using your upper body and turning with your shoulders rather than your hands. And you try not to do too many half halts. That being said, a couple of times I did have to intervene with Coco and just add a little half halt in because he was just getting a bit excited. Um, but it's a really nice exercise to do and I think it really highlights with your riding, A, is your horse supple enough? But B, are you using your body enough to turn? Are you looking up and ahead rather than always going for the hand and pulling to turn or something like that? So good exercise to do um, just to kind of really try and sharpen up your riding skills and work on those turns and those lines. Morning guys, it's Friday. I'm heading off to the Cotswold Cup Hazelton horse trials in a minute. And this uh, absolute donut brain here was out in the field having a lovely time. Decided about after 15 minutes of being out there. She didn't want to be out there anymore. Cantering up and down the fence line. She's got herself in a right mess. I'm about to take her rugs off and wash her. Just, I don't know. Sometimes I'm like, I don't understand quite how Madden's brain works. She lives in a secluded field. There's no farm animals around her. There's no people around her. And she is in, look at that, a sweaty mess. And puffing like a train. So she's obviously been galloping more than what I realised out there. She's tied by baiting twine. She just wraps it around the fence. She went out like such a lamb as well. She went out so quietly and I thought, oh, she's going to be, you know, she's, they're chilled now and everything. But no. No, you don't eat the weeds. Corporal's still out. I can't really keep an eye on him because he doesn't like being out on his own. But anyway, she had her, all her droppings were fine last night, but I hope she's not coming down with colic or something. I mean, she was, she was only out for two hours yesterday, so it was slightly longer than I planned on. But two hours is not a lot on the grand scale of things, so... 
yesterday. What will I do with her? You're a big fat pain in the backside, Mare. You're right, you're going to have to have a wash, aren't you? Do you know what's even weirder? Is that she's now in on her own and she's more chilled than when she was out in the field with Corporal. You make no sense, Mare. lumbered with these two um down there is the lovely house if i try and i've got my hands really full here i've actually realized i've come here before and taught um a few times it's such a beautiful place evening guys it's the most gorgeous evening what has been such a windy and at times cold day um you might be able to tell from my face i am so red <laughs> That's just from the wind. I never took this coat off the whole time I was at Hazelton um, because it wasn't warm, but the wind was so strong. And honestly, yeah, I'm really red faced this evening. I'm like, oh dear, this is not very good at all. But the most gorgeous evening now, the wind has dropped. Sienna, <laughs> Sienna's running up and down the fence line again. She's obviously decided she's had enough. Look at her, look at her, trying to, she puts her nose under the fence. Look at her, cheeky little monkey. You wouldn't believe she'd want to come in, would you? But nope. Uh, excuse me, we don't do that, do we? I honestly can't work out why she wants to come in so desperately. So I checked them back out as soon as I got home because obviously they only had like 45 minutes out this morning. And I thought it'd be really nice for them to have a bit longer. Look, don't you dare take that fence down, madam. Otherwise, I'm going to have to try and work out how I can get this electrified. You've been chopping that up because I pushed those down earlier. Mm. You're a monkey. Um, yeah, so I'll chuck them out and give them a couple of hours out now. Um, but literally, just as I started skipping out, look at she's back up there again. Um, as soon as I started skipping out, I had a quick look and I could see that she was trying to push through the fence again. I, don't, I can't work it out. I can't work it out at all. Gosh, look how red my cheeks are. <laughs> no. Morning, guys. It's such a gorgeous day today. It's absolutely stunning. <laughs> Madam is fence walking again. Uh, she has managed near enough three hours though, so I guess we'll give her credit for that. I think it's the midges. How puffed are you? Oh, you've been... Oh, no, you've been doing it for a while. Oh, look, you can see the line she's been making. She's actually been doing that for some time. There's a lot of midges out though, and I think it's that that's causing her the issues. I think she's getting really fed up with the midges. Um, I did say that yesterday. And when I checked them out first thing, it wasn't that bad. But I think as soon as they start coming out, she's just not willing to handle it. So I'm not really sure quite what to do about that. I don't really want to leave her out at night because I don't really trust her. But if she can't handle the midges, then she's not going to want to stay out in daytime. The weird thing is, she doesn't come down. She knows I'm about to open the gate and yet she stays at that end. Anyway, not sure what we're going to do about this. But we're going to have to make a, find a solution for her somehow. Because at some point, I'd like to leave them out all day. Um, and I don't really want to be going to work worrying what she's up to. Hmm. Happy Sunday, guys. I hope you're all well and having a lovely, chilled, relaxed day. Beautiful blue skies here today. Um, a little bit chilly and a little bit windy, but that is working in my favour because Sienna has been out in the field for three hours and she's yet asked to come in. Hallelujah for that. My goodness, the wind is keeping the midges away today. There's not even any in my yard and it's working a treat. So at least we know what the problem was earlier in the week now. It was the midges that was winding her up. I didn't want to say what we do long term about that problem. <laughs> Because it didn't help having the sweet itch rug on because the midges were getting between her back legs and that was what was really annoying her. The only rug I can think of that would help with that, is it a Bowit rug or something? I don't know if she'd like wearing it because it goes up around their back legs, doesn't it? I don't know if she'd like that, but she might not have any choice. The weird thing is I've never had an issue with her and the midges before. So I don't know why this year is any different, but maybe they're particularly bad. I don't know. Either way, I'm just happy and relieved today that she's out there and she's happy. Um, I'm trying to get this vlog finished because I have got work this afternoon, which does suck a bit. I'm not going to lie. 
Who wants to work on a Sunday afternoon? You want to potter around at home just tidying up, don't you? But anyway, needs must. So I need to get this vlog edited and I also need to get them ridden, but I'm trying to leave them as long as possible out just to really help get her into the routine of staying out longer. So if needs be, I might even just work her later and let them have a good like three or four hours out this morning. Um, so yeah, I have obviously started riding her again, which is exciting, but the first two or three weeks of getting Sienna back into work, she's quite uneasy and she's quite unsure and she's quite anxious and she just seems to have lost confidence and it's weird because we've given her holidays and brought her back into work so many times you think she'd be used to it but there's just something about having the rider back in the saddle that just makes her a little bit unsure you've obviously seen we've been doing some hacking interestingly she was actually better to ride on the school yesterday than she was out hacking even though i want to do more hacking than schooling i want to kind of stick with the in-hand groundwork to help keep improving her back because i feel like that's made such a difference this winter and do more riding out hacking but we'll just play it by ear and see what works best but she was a good girl yesterday she was pretty relaxed and i think my work kind of routine and warm-up has changed somewhat now knowing about her si's and helping her to kind of stay more soft and supple over her back so i'll vlog about that at a later date when we're a bit more into routine um definitely had to give myself a bit of a talking to earlier in the week <laughs> Do you ever have to do that? Just to kind of like say, like, buck up your ideas. You need to work even harder than you've ever worked before because I feel like this year with Sienna, it's like now or never. Don't worry, I'm not about to get rid of her, but like she's got to have a job. She doesn't necessarily need to be competing. I'm not really worried about that. It's just she needs to have a job. She needs to be able to go out hacking. We need to be able to play in the school. As long as she's happy, obviously, and she hasn't got any issues. But she needs a job this year. Um, so I do feel like there's a bit of pressure. I do feel like I'm going to have to be quite brave because obviously if you've had a few heavy falls off of a horse, you do lose a bit of confidence. Um, but I'm also excited. So more interesting vlogs will come along, I promise, guys. Keep following, guys. Keep watching. Um, it will get better, I promise. But yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go because I'm just waffling now and I will see you guys again next week.